So hello there, and welcome to the Southern Victory mod, where, um, the South, yeah, um, they, they won, um, but on the bright side, it looks like we have, uh, quite a bit of what, um, used to be in Canada, so, you know, I guess there's always a silver lining to this Quebec, too, which we, we could just kind of just separate from us, I guess, maybe. I think the UK kind of collapsed a little bit, kind of. I guess we'll play as the good old United States of America. Plus Canada, minus Quebec, minus Alaska. And hey, if you guys end up enjoying, remember to subscribe to stay in tune to some of the other stuff I do, and leave a like if this hits a thousand likes, I'll make a part two. Okay, yeah, so the Great War did happen, I guess, and Germany won, so it's kind of like a mixture of Kaiserreich and Southern Victory, so that's, that's kind of interesting, it would kind of make sense for that to happen. America's apparently called the new Prussia, too, so that's kind of interesting, I guess, and I guess, you know, I think our goals this game should probably, hopefully, be obvious to you. But yeah, we'll start with doing the, um, the Hoover administration focus because, yeah, there are a lot of problems in this weird version of America, that we only have three usable civilian factories to start off with, so yes, it's not, it's not very good at all. South is actually not too much weaker than us for how small they look. I guess they own Cuba, which is kind of interesting. And yeah, and this bit of northern Mexico, but then not Baja, California, so... Oh wait, oh wait, Mexico's a puppet of them, oh. Wow, and Japan's liberalized, but they have quite the colonial empire now. They already have the Dutch East Indies, the Philippines, and Indochina. China, just starting off. Not China, though. China is pretty kind of united. They're united in color, but still separated by lots of different names for everything. Wait a second. Daniel MacArthur? Wait, wait, who's Daniel MacArthur? Apparently, we were on Germany's side during the Great War, I believe. I believe this mod's maybe getting updated soon, too, so it'll be cool to see what happens there with that. But yeah, I guess I can, you know, still just play it and see what it's like now. I don't know, the Spanish Civil War is still happening. It's just that there are no, you know, communists. It's just the kingdom versus the state. There's really no communist power in the world. Maybe there's, like, a void that needs to be filled. Okay, so we can either get a progressive candidate or a socialist candidate, and it looks like this one's the more radical one, so I think it's obvious to which direction we need to go. Can't we just go collectivists, though? Can't we just go all the way? Maybe not yet, I guess. Whoever this Thomas guy is, uh, he's he's probably gonna take over this nation, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, in China, yeah, that didn't last long, they kind of blew up. And now we can either choose between Herbert Hoover and Norman Thomas, and you know, I gotta see what this Thomas guy looks like, you know, I'm just curious. We, we gotta change things up. Yeah, he's elected, but he's still not president, I guess, until like January. I don't know how, like, accurate the game's gonna be about that. Oh, hum, this guy, okay. I'm just kind of sad our color didn't change red just yet, but apparently just being socialist isn't quite enough. Maybe one day we can become the collectivist society of America. I, I, I don't know. I guess for now we can just focus on fixing the economy. Oh, and because we went socialist, now we can prepare a collaboration government in the South. Oh, that's perfect. Of course, we might get an event to get cores, but I'm not gonna count on it. I'm just gonna build a collaboration government just in case, and then it reduces their surrender limit anyways. We don't start with cores, though. But, like, all the states have their own cores, which is already kind of weird. Okay, and we've done a ton of our economy stuff, so now the worst is over, apparently. We can do this, remove the Great Depression, and then we can start... I don't know, I guess I probably should have done some of this Thomas administration stuff, maybe. It seems pretty bad, most of it. Home rule for Canada, yeah, hmm. Utah home rules, why? I don't think I'm gonna be doing any of these focuses. I, I don't like these focuses. This, this just looks like how to create border gore focuses. Oh, yes, and we finally have some medium tanks, and oh, these aren't going to be just any regular medium tanks. They're going to be made into great tanks that'll serve our nation well. Oh, they joined the Entente to the south. Why, why would they do that? Hmm. I guess we can always just join the Quadruple Alliance. Maybe someday. Actually, probably not, honestly. Yeah, Japan is slowly taking out China. Nothing else is really happening elsewhere. It's just a giant stalemate. A brewing war, I guess. It looks like the South can declare on us. We can't declare on them, unfortunately. But they have Operation Blackbeard. But it has to be after May of 1941 to do that. And this guy's hair is doing something crazy, though, honestly. 
honestly. I, I should have pointed it out sooner, but yeah. We're also producing a lot of Chad tanks, slowly bringing them over to Virginia, because both of our capitals are extremely close to the border. We were a little smart and moved our capital to Philadelphia instead of Washington, which was probably a good idea. Oh wait, to meeting in Richmond? Okay, so they are apparently mad about the borders after the war, so um, I think we're just gonna say no, because I, I don't really want peace, you know? I want unification. At least unification with them, if not them. Also Mexico, and if I maybe, maybe just all the Americas, and we can take Alaska, maybe even move into Russia. Oh, wait, we're, we're, we're in war, I, yeah. Oh wait, and we're at war just alone, I think, with the entire Entente. Germany, please, Germany, help me. Oh. Okay, and then we'll start with the Chad tanks once they're orged up. We also have 3.17 million manpower, unlimited. Wait, did we just engage with their navy already? That was a really quick engagement. Okay, guys, it's the naval battle of the century. Okay, I guess I could just move all my casts over here and put them on naval strike. I don't know if that'll help. I okay, let's look at this. Looks like they're losing a lot more ships than we are. They're losing a lot of destroyers and they lost an early cruiser. We've only lost one sub. Okay, yeah, that was that was a really good battle. We only lost one ship and they lost quite a few ships. Ah, I think I think we have a naval supremacy, at least against the CSA. I don't know about the UK. They probably still have, wait, Never mind. <laughs> yeah, the UK. Well, whatever. I, I don't know what they're doing. Oh wait, so we're kind of deciding what we'll do with the CSA once they capitulate. So we can divide them into the constituent states, which is why all the individual states have cores. Create a collaboration government, or wait, what? Dixie Delenda Est. <laughs> I'm just gonna deploy these extra 10 tanks. They're not fully trained, but that, that's like 10 tanks. Oh no. Oh, and they revolted. Oh, I guess this is why you have to be the good guys and release them. How many divisions do they have? Mystery, um, don't have any divisions in reserve. Well, I guess I have these ones on the Mexican border, but if I remove them, they'll probably just declare on me. Okay, garrison army, you're, you're being redeployed to deal with Utah. And I guess my navy will just defend in their broken state. I don't know, is Canada gonna revolt too now? I'm, I'm kinda concerned. Can't even get my tungsten and stuff to build tanks anymore now. Um, well, they were kind of a problem. You can probably tell by the sheer amount of divisions that I had to move over here, but yeah. They're dealt with now. Um, they've, they've been re-annexed, and now I can move my divisions back to this front. That was quite the problem. I didn't realize it. Oh no, and more Chad tanks have gotten circled. Oh, okay, few. Oh, that Utah thing really messed us up. Um, they've, they've pushed us quite a bit, considering we had to take away a lot of divisions from the line. But they didn't really start winning until after Utah capitulated, I don't know. Seems like a lot of other Entente people came over here, like there's French divisions everywhere. Like, if you look at their faction, they have a lot more fielded manpower than me. I probably should have focused more on just spamming out infantry and not building tanks. We'll just keep encircling things over here, fixing the front. <laughs> I think it's time to take Virginia back again. I don't like this giant blob here, and it's there. They're constantly attacking into me, too. I feel like it's finally time to just end this again. The only problem is this is the one place where they're fighting for air, really, except for Texas, and our Air Force isn't really the best. These tanks don't have any AA. They're not well equipped to fight in red air. And in mountains, too, of course. Death of Kaiser Wilhelm. Maybe that means that his successor, probably Kaiser Wilhelm III, will join the war. Or the 
Frederick. Oh, and the Kingdom of France declares on the German Empire. So France wants Elsa's Lorraine back, so it's the UK and France, and the CSA being the aggressors against me in Germany. And Russia declares war on Germany. If Russia joins the Entente, then I have to worry about Alaska. I still don't think I can join Germany. I still think I'm just kind of stuck on my own. <laughs> Wait. Oh no! Now I'm in the war all alone again! Oh. Well, I had such hope. I had hope of an alliance, a friendship. Then they just wiped peace. I guess I can just turry and try to capitulate them before more divisions get in here. Oh, the CSA surrenders. They gave up. Oh, oh, and I just was seeing the Entente Division starting to pop up. Perfect timing. But yep, there we go. Gone forever. I guess kind of gone. We're still technically at war with the Entente. And CSA doesn't even exist anymore. Eh, I guess I'm happy to be at war. It just means I can go conquer more places. I'll just make a garrison order with all my bad divisions. And then they'll clean up all this disgusting mess. We'll send the real army over to Mexico. We can either talk talk to the Germans or form our new global alliance. And after the Germans, you know, did that thing where they just pieced out on us, I don't really trust them anymore. So, you know, I feel like we just need to form our own alliance. Wait, Japan declared on us? Oh, huh. Yeah, this is really not good. We're pretty much at war with like everybody. Yeah, huh. I guess I better start safeguarding stuff in the Pacific, considering I'm at war with Australia and India and Japan and everybody. Oh, beautiful, this is an operation? Uh, operation Husky? Russian Empire gets event, America occupies Alaska? Oh, and Japan puppeted China too. That's perfect. Uh, and let's just align all these American nations, I guess. <laughs> they all get the event to join the US. Hopefully they all accept. Anyway, that's it for now. This has been interesting for sure. I guess the decision to take Alaska and the decision to align the Americas didn't do anything. So I guess, yes, yeah, some stuff still needs to be ironed out, but you know, this was still pretty interesting. I, I had a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.